Yana has a question. Hi, everyone. Is there an app on Teams that's like a forum? My team is looking for a place to post questions, share ideas, generate discussion asynchronously. Now we use Team Chat for all of these, but is it, it is not organized, hard to track, and very disrupting to workflow. So the answer to this question is yes. <laughs> yes. And what, a chat? Why aren't you having conversations in a channel, let alone as like a forum? If, so if, if they're taking chat, you're talking private chat. That's You can't track anything in a chat. Yeah. Well, this is this is like the a, a great use case for. So what we're talking about is so Yammer. So now being rebranded as yep, Viva yep. Engage, but yep. what a, a use case for Yammer? Here's a great example of this. Uh, Mike is making faces. Stop it now. Uh, so as a as a <laughs> knowledge base. Really. <laughs> so so here's a great example. So I worked for a company that we got acquired by this company. We had a town hall. We had like five or six locations around the world all dialing in, all live, watching this multi-hour town hall. And people started like emailing questions and they were taking questions to the room. And I, I went in and, and we had a Yammer environment. I kind of blew the dust off of it. People weren't using it at this company that acquired us. Um, but I started up a town hall for this you know, company-wide town hall and quickly sent that out to uh, email, like share it out and everybody. And instantly people started an you know, asking questions. And so someone in the room where the CEO was talking would raise their hands and say, hey, such and such in Germany just asked this question. And so, uh, you know, on behalf. And what was great about it is like six months later, we bought another company, had another town hall for those people coming in and what was new and changing. And I came in a little bit late to the town hall and to the live meeting and instantly opened up my laptop, looked in, uh, went into the town hall. And people were already in there asking new questions or adding on to like a knowledge base, the questions that were discussed six months ago, the same questions. So people knew to go and search and then add to those conversations. So it was asynchronous. We were there in person and then days and weeks later, We'd see, you know, because we'd follow certain discussion threads and see new additions yeah. to the questions being asked. Like that is one and of the core Mark, scenarios. The best answer as well, because that's the great thing yeah. about engaging. Go, Mark, this one here is the best answer as part of that Q and A. Yep. So you've then got here's the answer to the question. Perfect forum scenario. I mean, if they're if they're not using Yammer, use your Teams channel conversations properly and you won't even need another app if you're doing it because one click on the a put in your subject line making it easier for you to find your information number one um you can save information to, to the go to the ellipsis on the far right save if you want to come back to it later on and if you want to find within the channel if you're actually in the channel if you go control f to find it will go in this channel find this information people yeah. often will go to the search bar up the top and just search and it goes across the whole of teams it's like well no look down in the channel control f find and that will and teach them how to do that but well, yeah there are other apps too well but you can i mean you could go into your search parameters and set that up like if you have an if you have a formal intranet um, SharePoint or otherwise, I mean, you can tap into that, you know, that the Yammer, the yep. Viva Engage database. You can actually mm -hmm. make that, those answers, that knowledge base um, surfaced on the side or, or on the top of the results of those. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, prejudice the results, you know, towards the that, that content. Um, so it's more social driven answers and then documents and people and stuff below that. But yeah, I mean, that that is a fantastic resource. I mean, other things that work as a forum, I mean, there are other third-party tools. I don't know that Microsoft yeah. has anything that's specifically like a forum that are out there, but I know some other organizations have gone to like Discord and and other you know third-party solutions and cloud-based like applications. Facebook or something. Yeah, there, there's Sorry. that. I've heard but people honestly, use that, yeah. What what Yana is asking, the best form factor with what we have today is Yammer or Engage. And it's not disruptive like a well, chat integrated. message would be. Like you're, you're not going teams, to get it's fully integrated. The, yeah. You're not going to get the pinging of all of the instant messages that you're getting in a chat within Teams. You can pin it to your Teams experience if you want, or you can take it so it's it's there when you want to come back to those Yammer communities. It's not necessarily just focused to a particular team because no organization is ever just one team. 
you have interests and responsibilities across that organizational spectrum. So the nice thing about Yammer is, yes, you can have the concept of all company where the, the senior leadership can come in and share their messages or have information and drive engagement for that level. But there's also going to be communities of interest or practice. So perhaps it's a, a what do they call those things? ERGs, Enterprise Resource Group, where they're discussing some function inside of the organization and they're multi-departmental. They can all come in and work as a, a contribute as a virtual team. In addition, it's the the knowledge retention, the knowledge repository that you also get from the, the question and answer stuff. Mm -hmm. Conversations are threaded, searchable, you know, that tagging, the engagement, there's even a file story associated to it. So it is a pretty good platform. And I, yeah. you know, Mike, Mike was, you know, making the the hand gestures like, no, thank you, no, thank you. And uh, I can kind of relate to that because there was that point when when Teams first came out and like Yammer was out before Teams, and we were like, where am I supposed to have this conversation? Like there's yeah. there was a lack of of product maturity to know where to position these things. Uh, you know, and and sometimes yeah. I don't know if it's product still... maturity, it's usually education. It's more the education side people don't yeah, know where but to the put messaging their conversation was, too. The messaging, the messaging was weak. Honestly, it was really well, weak. Yeah. It was really yeah. weak because as yeah. MVPs, yeah. we had to use that platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. I gotta tell you, I mean, there were PMs that were like, oh, we're on we're on Yammer, but no, we're gonna stick over here on on Slack yes. and we're gonna do this, or we're gonna do that. We were kind of like spread out all over the place. Um yeah. and Yammer, they couldn't quite get down to the point where they were like it, one one Yammer group I'm a part of, yeah, they knew everything about using the files tab, you know, the file space and all this other kind of stuff. But everything go to another one and they were like all over the board. It was like there were things everywhere, and so, nobody knew there was no organization to it at all. I, I think that the, you know to clarify this, it goes back to what's a common question asked in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem is you know, the which tool when you yeah, know kind yeah, of conversation. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I think of it this way is that you know the the way that we're a Microsoft shop, you know, the way that we function is that Teams is project based. When I know who I'm working with, I know what I'm working on, we're working together towards a deliverable that could be short term or long term, but there's like a project based activity that's done in Teams. When it is a broad initiative where we're going to talk about this, this topic, uh, this knowledge base, but we don't know that like Mike may 20 years ago worked in that space, like in an industry that he's, it has nothing to do with his day job today. So he's mm -hmm. not part of the discussion, but still has access to that community. So if he goes in and sees it, Hey, I, I see that Norm and Christian that I work with and other stuff, I see them talking about this thing. Hey, I have a lot of experience in that industry. And with that from a prior job, he can go in and add to that, even though it's, he's not part of any active project. So find it. it it's just it, it, it so it, they're they're different they work together yeah. i think part of what is uh, you know certainly over the last year but with the the rebranding of yammer into viva engage um the integration into teams the integration with outlook makes it more fluid to move in between the different tools um but that's i mean my i look at yana's question my first response is of course Yammer is the yeah. answer to exactly that scenario. It is. But well, if you're looking at something, come if it's just purely, yeah. yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're looking at a purely form, like if you're really looking just for a pure forum discussion, like just purely forum, not you know, the Yammer communities, which goes a little further and will absolutely do it. And your data and information, everything stays within your business and the security and the searching and finding. It's great. But there's no real... Um, at the moment, like for Microsoft, there's no out of the box, purely forum, you know, discussion type applications. Yeah, I mean, you can bring in, uh, you know, the third parties like this. Um, you could do um, Monday, uh, Social Squared, Answer Hub, uh, Jira, Stack Overflow, I think are the yeah. main forum ones. But then you've got your data and information sitting in your you know, you're going into shadow IT, other content. It's not integrated in your information sitting somewhere else. Well, a lot more work to be able to integrate it in. A, yeah. Yeah, so if yeah. You're looking for out more, of the box. Yeah. If you're looking for out of the box, it options. really is. It really is um, Yammer. There, it's really going to be the closest in functionality that you're going to going to have without a doubt.